The National Bible Quiz and Sweet Music in partnership with Sunny TV, Sunny FM and Bible Society of Ghana present the 2023 National Bible Quiz Championship. Come watch 27 churches from three universities battle their way through the quarterfinals, semifinals and grand finale for the ultimate biblical scholarship and trophy. Who wins the 2023 National Bible Quiz Championship? Date Monday 4th to Saturday 9th September 2023. Venue Cofidra Conference Room, University of Ghana. Come cheer your church to victory. Hello and welcome to the semi-finals of the National Bible Quiz Championship brought to you by the National Bible Quiz Project in collaboration with the Bible Society of Ghana, Sunny TV and Sweet Music Pro Audio. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have had an interesting journey through the scriptures right from the quarterfinals. We've had exciting questions, excellent answers, great comebacks and tears of joy. And you you, our audience, have never disappointed. You have stayed with us from the very beginning of this program, and we believe that you have had so much fun and learned a lot. Today, we bring you the first of three semifinals, introducing Deeper Life Campus Fellowship from the University of Ghana. Okay. And we have another Deeper Life Campus Fellowship from Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. We also have Live City Campus Church, also from the University of Ghana. Let me find out from our audience. Audience, who do you think is making it to the grand finale? <laughs> Is it going to be Deeper Life Campus from UG? Or is it going to be Deeper Life Campus Fellowship from Tech? <laughs> or is it going to be Life CC Church from UG? Okay, we don't know yet, but we are ready to find out. And we promise you that this contest is going to be very keen, full of excitement, knowledge, and great fun. Before we continue, I want us to take a moment to acknowledge our sponsors who have made this program possible. <laughs> I want us to acknowledge Swiss Music Pro Audio, Ghana's leading musical instrument store, Visawi Insurance Brokers, and the 75th Anniversary Secretariat of the University of Ghana for supporting this program through various ways. As you can see, I'm looking stunning, and my outfit is by Handmat Apple and Decorations. My makeup is by Julie's Blush. You can contact Julie's Blush on 0249 488 242. 0249 488 242. We have another exciting contest before us. If you are watching us live, kindly share the link across. <laughs> That's right. Yes, share the link with all your friends and family. Let's gather for an intriguing journey into the scriptures. Now, let's find out who our contestants are for this contest and their experience so far and their expectation for today's contest, starting from you, Deeper Life Campus Fellowship, UG. It's been God so far. Right. This, we have come this far just by grace. Hey, I'll do. Okay. <laughs> okay, Deepa, like one more question for you. We've seen you rise through the contest, and I'm sure you've had some experience by now. Do you care to share with us what your experience has been? Still grace. That's what we can say. By grace. Thank you so much, Deepa Life. Okay, so our ladies in the house, Life City Campus Church, please tell us your names and your expectations for this contest. I'm Zipporah Avinu. Okay. And I'm Daphne Nti Prempe. Okay, thank you so much. Deeper Life Campus Fellowship, KNUSC, please tell us your names and your expectations. I'm a Kumu Yusalas. 
Yeah, from Paul Smart. Okay. What is your expectation for the contest? Okay, we thank God for how he has brought us to this point, and we hope Amen. in the end his name will be glorified. Okay, thank you. May his name indeed be glorified. Audience, your teams will be counting on you, so please be sharing them up from time to time. Okay, my name is Janet Dansoa, and I am your quiz mistress. Now to the contestants. This contest will come to you in five rounds. Round one, here are the rules. Most questions in this round require simple, straightforward answers. Some questions may require some explanations or more detailed answers. You have 10 seconds to answer your major question, and your answer must be one attempt only, meaning that you cannot start one answer and change it to start a different answer. If a team fails to answer their main question, I may pass the question on for a bonus to the remaining teams. The first team to ring their bell will have the opportunity to answer. Shall we hear your bells, please? Starting from you, Deeper Life. Thank you. Life City? OK. Thank you. Right. Please note, a correct answer to a main question is worth three points. A correct answer to a bonus question is worth one point. A wrong answer to a bonus question will cost you a deduction of one point. If you really want to answer a bonus question, you must be ready to ring your bell the moment I offer a question as a bonus, else I'll move on. And remember also that this is a semi-final. Precision and accuracy will not be compromised. Best wishes to all teams. Okay. Let's begin. Deeper life, Yuji, your question. Jaira is one of the names of Jehovah revealed in the Bible. A, mention the first time this name appeared in the Bible, and B, Explain in detail how the name came about. You said Jairi. Is it Jairi? Yes, please. J-I-R-E-H. So, Jairi was first mentioned in the book of Genesis. Jairi came about when Abraham went to offer um, Isaac at the plain of Moriah. So when he was offering and he wanted to kill his son, an angel came and he said you should not kill the son and provided a ram instead of the son. So that was how the name came about, Jairi. So Abraham called the place Jairi for the, for, because God has provided for a lamb. Instead. Okay, correct for three points. <laughs> Life City, your question. Nisi, N-I-S-S-I, -S -S is one of the names of Jehovah revealed in the Bible. A, mention the first time this name appeared in the Bible, and B, explain in detail how the name came about. Okay, so the first time it was mentioned was at Rephidim, when Israelite, the Israelites fought with the Amalekites, and by the hand of Joshua, um, the Israelites con disconvicted the Amalekites, and God told Abraham and Moses to make an altar, a memorial that he will have war with the Amalekites forever, from generation to generation, and they called it Adonai Nisi. Correct. Tipa Live, can you see your question? Rafa, R-A-P-H-A, is one of the names of Jehovah revealed in the Bible. A, mention the first time God revealed himself by this name in the Bible. And B, explain in detail how the name came about. The first time was in the book of Exodus, at a point where the Israelites had murmured and the, there was punishment rendered unto them. It's a, a punishment of a particular plague. And the, the Lord promised that he'll be their healer. 
And so we called, that was Jehovah Rafa. Um, sorry, that's not detailed enough. This is what I was expecting. The first time he came, it was in Exodus chapter 15, verse 23 to 26. After the waters of Mara were turned sweet by the divine direction of the Lord to Moses, they came to a place called Mara, whose waters were bitter and could not be drunk. So the people murmured against Moses, saying, what shall we drink? Moses cried out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree when he cast it into the waters, the waters were made sweet. There he made a statute and an ordinance for them. And there he tested them and said, if you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes. I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord your God who heals you. Okay. Preamble to all teams, listen carefully. We are going to read passages in the Bible together. I will give you the verses and start reading. You have to continue from where I stop to the end of the passage. Deeper life, UG. John chapter 5, verses 24 to 27, in the order of the verses. I start. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sends me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. Continue. Life City, your question. John chapter 5, verses 28 to 31. In the order of the verses, I start. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice. Continue. The dead in Christ will rise first. Deeper life, your question. John chapter 5, verses 32 to 35. In the order of the verses, I start. There is another who bears witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesses of me is true. Continue. I'm giving you the right answers to the questions. Deeper life, UG. Your question was John chapter 5, verses 24 to 27, in the order of the verses. So most assuredly I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death into life. You are to continue from verse 25, which says, most assuredly I say to you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. Verse 26, For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son to have life in himself. Verse 27, And he has given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Wow. Life City, the answer to your question, John chapter 5, verses 28 to 31, in the order of the verses. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice. You are to continue from verse 29, which says, And come forth those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. Verse 30, I can of myself do nothing as I hear I judge, and my judgment is righteous, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the Father who sends me. Verse 31, if I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. So that was what I was expecting. Deeper life, KNUST. Your question was John chapter 5, verses 32 to 35, in the order of the verses. There is another who bears witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesses of me is true. You are to continue from verse 33. You have sent to John, and he has borne witness to the truth. Verse 34, yet I do not receive testimony from man, but I say these things that you may be saved. Verse 35, he was the burning and shining lamp, and you were willing for a time to rejoice in his light. Please let's give it up for them. Okay, next set. 
Be very precise with your answers in this very set because I will not give partial marks and it's one attempt only. Once you start, you cannot restart. Keep alive, Yuji. Mention in any order the full list of the gifts of the Spirit referenced in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 8 to 10. The gift of faith, the gift of healing, the gift of working of diverse kinds of miracles, speaking of diverse ki kinds of tongues, interpretation of tongues, the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, the gift of discernment of spirits. And Your time is up and you didn't mention all nine. Bonus. Deeper life, KNUST. The word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, the spirit of discernment, the gift of faith, gift of working miracles, gift of healings, gift of interpretation of tongues, speaking of diverse tongues, and gift of prophecy. Correct for one thing. Life City, your major question. Mention in any order the full list of the fruits of the Spirit as referenced in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. <laughs> Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Correct for three points. Okay, Deeper Life KNUSC, your major question. Mention in any order the full list of the building blocks that must be built upon or added to our faith, referenced in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5 to 7. Virtue, knowledge, temperance, patience, godliness, brotherly kindness, charity. Correct for three points. I am going to mention names of entities, people, places, etc. And you are to give me the other name or the more popular name of the same entity in the Bible. Deeper life. A. Luz. L U Z. B. Senu. S E N I R. C. Jerubel. J E R U. B B A A L. So A Laz is Bethel and C Jeriba is Gideon. Okay, you scored two out of three. <laughs> Life City, your question. A Edom, E D O M. B Jebus, J E B U S. C Kiriath Abba, K I R I A T H hyphen A R B A. Idam is Esau. Kiriath Abba is Hebron. And Jebus. Okay, you also have two out of three. <laughs> Keep alive, K N U S C. A. Jeshurun, J E S H U R U N. B. Laish, L A I S H. C. Kiriath Baal, K I R I A T H B A A L. Okay, so for the first one, it's Simeon. Yeah, that's it. Incorrect, bonus. All right. Okay. Okay. So starting from you, deeper life, KNUSC, Jeshurun is Jacob or Israel. Then Laish is Dan. And Kiriath Baal, the other name is Kiriath Jiriam. And for Life City, you got the Jebus wrong, which is Jerusalem. And for Deeper Life UG, you couldn't answer Senu, which is Hermon. Neset, 
Deeper Life UG. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 2 to 4, the writer contrasted the benefits of prophecy and tongues. Mention two contrasts he indicated in that passage. For the prophecy, he that prophesied, prophesies to edify the church, but speaking of thanks, edifies only the person. And then in prophecy, when one person is prophesying and another person gets the prophecy, the one who is speaking would have to wait or sit, and then the next person would have to take on. But in speaking of thanks, because it only edifies the person, the speaking of thanks, the person is to keep to himself so that it only be demonstrated to people who do not believe or barbarians. Okay, I'll give you two out of three. Life City, your major question. In Galatians chapter 4, verses 22 to 24, Paul discusses two sons born by Abraham, mentioning two descriptions he gave about the birth of those children. So, the seed of Abraham, which is Isaac, and with the seed of Abraham is Isaac, to whom uh, many nations came forth. And with Esau, um, the seed with Esau, uh, he just made a nation out of Ishmael. He just made a nation out of him. But with the seed, the seed is Isaac. And that was where all the descendants came from. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. For bonus, deeper life, KNUST. Okay, so the first was Ishmael, the son of Hagar, and the other was Isaac. And uh, Isaac was of a seed of promise. Ishmael was not of promise. Keep alive your major question. Narrate as exact as possible and in the right order the three stages Paul revealed in Ephesians chapter 4 concerning putting off and putting on. Narrate as exact as possible and in the right order the three stages Paul revealed in Ephesians chapter 4 concerning putting off and putting on. Okay, so Paul by inspiration says we are to, number one, put off the old man, which is corrupt according to the deeds of itself, and the, put, on the new, put on the new man, which is... Put, but we should put on the new man, which is after the life of the Holy Spirit. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Bonus. Okay, audience. <laughs> okay, so I'm starting from your question, Deeper Life KNUST. So the first one, put off concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Two, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And then three, put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness in that order. Okay, Life City, in Galatians chapter 4, verses 22 to 24, you were to give the description Paul gave concerning the two sons born by Abraham. One was by a bond woman and the other by a free woman. And then the one by the bond woman was born according to the flesh and he of free woman through promise. Deeper life, the answer is that he who speaks in tongues does not speak to men but unto God. For no one understands him, how be it in the spirit he speaks mysteries, but he who prophesies speaks edification and exhortation and comfort to men. And the second is he who speaks in tongue edifies himself, but he who prophesies edifies the church. Preamble to all teams, listen carefully. In Joshua chapter 10, a number of kings began a war against Israel. Deeper life, UG. A, how many were the kings? B, what nationality was common to these kings? C, why did they pick up a war with Israel? Okay, in Joshua chapter 10, there were five kings. There were Amorite kings. And they picked up a war against Israel so that they have seen what Israel did to other nations, to Sion and, and Og. So they wanted to finish the Israelites, so that they will not inherit their land that Israelites were coming to inherit. 
Okay, correct for three points. <laughs> Life City, your question. Identify any three of these five kings by indicating the name and the city of the king. I'm Raphael, king of Shina. Are you king of Elasa? Pedela Oma, king of Elon. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Bonus. Okay. Deeper life, KNUST, your major question. Tell us more about this war by indicating the following. A, the name of the city these Amorite kings fled to when the battle became too strong for them. B, the exact location in that city where they took their cover. C, the nationality of the people in the city they entered. And D, the exact location where these kings were buried after their death. Okay, so for the B, they, they fled to a cave, Makeda. And then the last one, they were buried, they were buried in that same cave. Because, so that's for the B and D. And the exact city is Hebron. I'll give you two points. Life City, to your question, Adoni Zedek, King of Jerusalem, Hoham, King of Hebron, Piram, King of Jamuth, and Japhia, King of Lashish, Debi, King of Eglon. So any three would have been enough. Thank you. Neset, Deeper Life Campus Fellowship, UG. Mention three things the Lord said to Ananias about the ministerial commission of Paul. The Lord told Ananias that he has chosen Saul to send the gospel to the Gentiles, to the Gentile nations, and also to witness him before the Achaeans. He had also shown him how many things he must suffer for the gospel's sake. Correct for three points. Mention three major things Barnabas said of Paul to the apostles in Jerusalem, after which Paul was permitted to join the apostles in their routine. So he had an encounter with the Lord Jesus on his way to Damascus, and, um, and Ananias of Damascus had prayed for him to receive his sight, and also he preached boldly in Damascus. He preached boldly in Damascus and... Okay, Deeper Life Campus Fellowship, KNUST, your question. Mention three things that happened when Peter arrived in the house of Cornelius. Okay. So, first of all, Peter taught them the word of God. Secondly, they, were, they, they, they received their baptism in the Holy Spirit and then they were baptized in water. Correct for three points. Preamble to all teams, listen carefully. After Moses finished setting up and consecrating the tabernacle, the leaders of the tribes of Israel made an offering, which the Lord asked Moses to accept and use for the work in the tabernacle of meeting. Deeper Life UG. Mention A, the full details of this offering, and B, the representation of each elder in what was offered. They were to offer um, goods, um, they offered goods, they offered booze, they offered golden um, plates, they offered golden bulls, they offered um, booze and sheep. And the, the, every elder was to bring a, a portion for the 12 elders. The 12 elders were to bring their portion. I'm sorry, it's incorrect. Life City, your question. What portions of this offering was given to the Kohathites and why? Um, they were given the cats and the donkeys and the axes because they were in charge of carrying the um, holy things in the tabernacle. Deeper Life KNUST. Indicate 
the respective portions of this offering which were given to the Geshonites and the Merarites. Okay, so the Geshonites received the asses and the, the donkeys. They, they both received the asses and the donkeys. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Okay, so I'm starting from your question, Deeper Life Care and UST. You have to indicate the respective portions of this offering which was given to the Merarites and the Geshonites. So the Geshonites received two carts, four oxen. The Merarites received four carts, eight oxen. Life City, to your question, what portions of this offering was given to the Kohathites and why? None was given to them because theirs was the service of the holy things which they carried on their shoulders. Deeper Life, UG, you have to mention the full details of the offering and the representation of each elder in what was offered. The answer, six covered cats and 12 oxen and then a cart for every two of the leaders, one ox per leader. Preamble to all teams, listen carefully. The following passage is an extract from 2 Samuel chapter 8, verses 15 to 18. Fill in the blank spaces to complete the passage. Deeper life, Eugene. So David reigned over all Israel, and David administered judgment and justice to all his people. Dash, the son of Zeruiah, was over the army. Dash, the son of Ahilud, was Dash. Joab, Zadok, the priest. So you have one point. It says, Life City. Dash, the son of Ahitub, and Ahimelech, the son of Dash, were the priests. Dash was the scribe. Um, Nathan. That was for the second Dash. Mm. Incorrect. For a bonus question, please. Yes, deeper life, UG. Zadok, Abiata, and Skeva. X C E V A. No, incorrect. Deeper life care and UST, your question. Dash, the son of Jehoada, was over both the Dash and the Dash, and David's sons were chief ministers. The second Dash, the Cherethites, the third Dash, the Pelitites, and then the first Dash was, was Ahitu. You have two out of three points. <laughs> The first dash which you had wrong is Benaya. And for Life City, your question, the answer is Zadok, Abiatha, and Siraya, not Sivaya. Okay. And for Deeper Life, UG, the answers to your question. So David reigned over all Israel, and David administered judgment and justice to all his people. Joab, the son of Zeruiah, was over the army, and Jehoshaphat, the son of Ahilud, was recorder. Next set. Preamble to all teams, listen carefully. In Mark's gospel, one day, Jesus healed a leper who had said to him, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Deeper life, UG. Explain in detail the steps that unfolded in the healing of this leper. Okay, so he was crying out after Jesus, calling him thou son of David. So Jesus asked him, do you believe I can do this? And then he said, he answered positively. So Jesus took him outside. So when he, he cried and Jesus said, do you believe I can do this? And he said, yes. He was told to, and immediately he was healed. Incorrect. For a bonus question, yes, Life City. So, um... Jesus went to him and touched him and said, I am willing, be cleansed. And immediately he was healed of the leper. I'm sorry, because it's a bonus, I'll not give it to you. Your major question, what exactly did Jesus tell this leper after he was made clean? 
told him to go and show himself to the priest and offer the um, sacrifices that Moses commanded. Correct for three points. Deeper life, KNUST, your major question. Mention one possible constitution of the offering which this leper had to make to the priest. One possible one would be a heel lamp. Without a heel lamp, that is without blemish. So deeper life, UG, the answer to your question is that Jesus was moved with compassion and stretched out his hand and touched him and said, I am willing, be cleansed. Okay, thank you. Next set. Preamble to all teams, listen carefully. Isaiah and Jeremiah both had divine encounters in which something happened with their mouths. Deeper life, UG. Mention the problems they presented which required God to do something about their mouths. Isaiah said, I am a man of unclean lips. I am a, a person that was among people who are undone. And then Jeremiah said, I am but a babe and I cannot speak. Correct for three points. Okay. Okay. Life City, your major question. Explain as exact as possible how God dealt with Isaiah's challenge with his mouth. Um, so a seraphim angel flew with coal, which he picked, live coal, which he picked with thongs from the altar and touched his lips with it and said that your sins, your iniquities are forgiven and your sins are paged. Correct for three times. Deeper Life KNUST. Explain how God dealt with Jeremiah's challenge with his mouth. Okay, so the Lord touched his mouth and said he has put his words in his mouth. And what he has given him is what he will speak. And he further on encouraged him to, that he, has, he told him he has set him to pull down, to root out, to build up, to plant. I'll give you two out of three. <laughs> Preamble to all teams, listen carefully. We are going to read together popular verses from the book of Proverbs. I will start the proverb and then you complete it. Deeper Life UG, Proverbs 9 verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Bonus, audience. Yes, and the knowledge of the Holy One. <laughs> Life City, your question. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 15. The way of fools seem right to them. But the fools consider themselves wise, but their wisdom is foolishness in the sight of God. Incorrect. Yes, deeper life, UG. But the end of it is distraction. Incorrect. So as a bonus. Okay, audience. Deeper life, can you see your major question? Proverbs 12, verse 18. The words of the reckless pierce like swords. Okay, but the words of the wise enlighten. Last set for this round. <laughs> Deeper life, UG. I need you to call six verses from one book of the Bible. Which testament do you prefer to choose your book from? If new, Philippians, Colossians, and Ephesians. Ephesians 16. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Ephesians 1 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and understanding. Ephesians 1 18. 
that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his and what is the exceeding riches of his inheritance in the saints. Ephesians 6, 11, put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand against the words of the devil. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, for you rest or not. One point. <laughs> Life City. I need you to quote six verses from one book of the Bible. If new, Acts or Galatians or Titus. Acts. Okay. Acts chapter 8, verse 8. And there was great joy in that city. Acts chapter 7, verse 42. But Solomon built him in a house. Acts 28, verse 5. And he shook off the creature of the hand and felt no harm. Acts chapter, um, Acts chapter 9, verse 4. And saw fair on the earth. One point. Deeper life, K N U S T. I need you to quote six verses from one book of the Bible. Which testament do you prefer to choose your book from? New Testament. What? First Thessalonians, or Luke, or Hebrews. Luke eighteen one, and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men not always to pray and not to faint. Luke. Luke. Um, and that brings us to the end of round one. The National Bible Quiz and Sweet Music in partnership with Sunny TV, Sunny FM and Bible Society of Ghana present the 2023 National Bible Quiz Championship. Come watch 27 churches from three universities battle their way through the quarterfinals, semifinals and grand finale for the ultimate biblical scholarship and trophy. Who wins the 2023 National Bible Quiz Championship? Date Monday 4th to Saturday 9th September 2023. Venue Cofidra Conference Room. University University of Ghana. Come cheer your church to victory. Welcome to Sweet Music, your home of original musical instruments at the most affordable prices. Drum sets, keyboards, pianos, bass and The National Bible Quiz and Sweet Music in partnership with Sunny TV, Sunny FM and Bible Society of Ghana present the 2023 National Bible Quiz Championship. Come watch 27 churches from three universities battle their way through the quarterfinals, semifinals and grand finale for the ultimate biblical scholarship and trophy. Who wins the 2023 National Bible Quiz Championship? Date Monday 4th to Saturday 9th September 2023. Venue Cofidra Conference Room. University University of Ghana. Come cheer your church to victory. At the end of round one, here are the results. Deeper Life UG had 14 points. Thank you. Deeper Life KNUST had 14 points. And Life City had 16 points. We have four more rounds to go. I can see that Deeper Life has made a substitution. Like to welcome you to the stage. Please introduce yourself to us. Peace, I'm Abigail Obey. Welcome, Abigail. Okay. Now, round two. The speed race. This is the speed race. Every question goes to all teams, and each team must race to be the first to answer. If you believe you have an answer, you must ring the bell to be called. Please let's hear your bell, starting from Deeper Life UG. Thank you. Life City. 
Thank you. Deeper Life KNUSD. Okay. By the time you ring the bell, you must be ready with your answer, else the next team to have rank will be given the opportunity to answer. For every question, the first to ring the bell, who gets it right, earns three points. If the first team to ring gets it wrong, the second to ring who gets it right earns two points. If the first two teams get it wrong, the third team, if they rank and got it right, will earn one point. For every incorrect answer given after ringing, you will earn a deduction of one point. A team is not obliged to ring the bell to answer if they are not sure of their answer. Remember, your answers must be ready when you ring, and they must be straight to the point. This is a semi-final. Precision and accuracy, again, will not be compromised. Best wishes to all teams. Let's begin. The following sequence of places tell stories in the sequence. Explain which story each of the teams tell in the sequence. Ashdod, Gath, Ekron, Beth... Yes, Deeper Life UG. It tells a story about the movement of the Ark of the Covenant. So when the Philistines overcame Israel, they captured the Ark of the Covenant and took it to Ashdod, where they placed it in the house of their god Dagon. And then the Dagon was broken. So from Ashdod, it was taken to Gath because the Lord, the Lord's son was against the people of Ashdod. They took it to Gath, and then the hand of the Lord was again against them. So he also struck the city of Gath. And then when the people realized this, they also cried for the loss of the Philistines, and it was not taken to Ekron. Now in Ekron, the people have also heard about the striking of the Lord, which was against where the Ark of the Covenant was. So they equally cried to the loss of the Philistines, and they rejected it. From Ekron, the loss of the Philistines, when they had gathered, they spoke to their diviners on what they should do to appease the God of Israel. So when they spoke to the diviners, they asked them to now send a trespass offering in addition to the ark and then move it to, back to Israel. The loss of the Philistines now look at the ark, moving to Bechemesh. And then in Bechemesh, when the people saw it, they rejoiced. Next question. Mention the three instances of miraculous feeding of people recorded in the Bible. Life City. The miraculous feeding of the 5,000 by Jesus. The miraculous feeding of the 4,000 by Jesus. And the feeding of the 100 men. Correct. For three points. Next question. Which gospel account of the transfiguration of Jesus stands out with respect to the conversation? Deeper Life UG. So it's the account of Luke, and the conversation was concerning the burial and what Jesus would go through in the cross, in the crucifixion and the burial of Jesus. Correct for three points. Next question. What is the difference between Judas of Galilee and Judas of Damascus, yes, Life City. So Judas of Galilee was a man who arose during the time of the census, possibly a leader of a sect, and gathered many followers. But after he perished, they all scattered. And Judas of Damascus is the person whose house Saul dwelt after his encounter with, uh, with the Lord. And that is where Ananias came to pray for Saul. Correct for three points. Next question. What similarity can you find between the events leading to Peter's raising of Dorcas and the events leading to Jesus' raising of Jairus' daughter? Deeper life, UG. The events before Peter lived with Dorcas, Peter healed a lame man that had been lame for eight years. And with that of Jesus, he healed a woman that had been suffering from issue of blood for 12 years. That's incorrect. Life City, you rank second. So with Jesus' raising from um, some, Jairus' daughter from the dead, he sacked all the people from the room. And when Peter's raising of Dorcas back to life, he also sacked all the people Correct. from the <laughs> Next question. Mention the names of the four oldest patriarchs and... <laughs> Methuselah, 969. Jared, 962. Noah, 950. Adam, 930. 
That's incorrect. I'll continue. And how long they lived, from the lowest to the highest. Deeper life here in USC. So, Adam was 930. Noah was 950. Jared was 962. And Methuselah was 969. Correct, for two points. Next question. Mention the name of the exact place beyond the Jordan where John the Baptist. Yes. Bethabra. Correct Jordan. for three points. Next question. What is the meaning of the Greek word dikaiosuni? D i k a i o s u n e. Okay, the right answer is righteousness. <laughs> Next question. Tell us the full details of the sexual immorality story which Paul addressed in 1 Corinthians chapter 5. Deeper life. Okay, so Balaam enticed the Israelites. Paul referred to the incident that Balaam enticed the Israelites to. I'm sorry, you cannot start your answer again. Okay. Audience. Okay. Thank you. You're right. It was, it was reported to Paul about a man who slept with his father's wife, Excessual immorality Paul describes as something even the Gentiles wouldn't do. And instead of the believers being sad about the situation and properly disciplining or excommunicating the fellow to stop a possible spillover in the church, they were indifferent to the sin. So Paul said that he has judged the matter even though he was absent from them. And the judgment was that when they gather, they should deliver the fellow to Satan for the destruction of his body so his spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. Next question. Mention the names of the four places where Abraham built altars. Deeper life, UG. He built an altar at Shechem, plains of Mary and Hebron, between, uh, and also Bethel, between Bethel and Ai, and the land of Moriah. Please take your answers again. Deeper life, UG. Shechem, plains of Mary and Hebron, land of Moriah. Then between Bethel and AI. You have your points. Three points. Next question. Mention three differences between a burnt offering and a peace offering. Keep alive here in USD. Okay, so for a peace offering, it's only the fat that is bent on the altar. But for a burnt offering, the entire animal is bent on the altar. Again, for the, for the peace offering, the offerer also eats the sacrifice. But for the burnt offering, he doesn't eat it. Finally, for the burnt offering, it, the, the animal is cut into its pieces. But that is not so for the peace offering. In the peace offering, instead, only the fat is removed. Next question. Apart from food restrictions, mention two other restrictions that way. So with the Nazarite, they were not supposed to cut their hair. No result should come on their hair. And also, they are not supposed to go to a close, closer to a dead body, even though it's their relative. Or... Correct for three points. <laughs> Next question. What was the name of the faithful martyr who was killed in the church of Pega? Yes, Life City. Titus. Incorrect. Deeper life, can you see? Antipas. Antipas is the right answer. <laughs> Next question. A certain Jew in the camp of the Israelites was found to have developed a bright spot on his skin. When he was brought to the priest, he did not return to his house till after 14 days. Explain in detail. So with the bright spot, when you have a bright spot, you'll be brought to the priest. And if it's uh, reddish white, um, if the bright spot you are brought to the priest, after seven days, you'll be sent away for isolation, then the priest will examine you again. And if the bright spot, there's a white hair and it's deeper than the skin. If that, that's what will make sure, uh, that's what will show that it's unclean. But after you are brought to the seven days, and sorry, that doesn't show. Sorry, that's incorrect. 
Yes, Life City. So upon examination, they realized that the area of the bright spot had not sunk deeper than the rest of the skin, and there were no white thin hairs. So therefore, he was quarantined for seven days. After the seven days, when they examined him again, they found that the saw remained the same, and it had not darkened in color. So they isolated him for another seven days. And after the seventh day, when they brought him back, they realized that the bright spot had begun to fade. So they declared him clean because it had healed. Next question. Which gospel account of Jesus' encounters with mad people is the most different? And what reason? It was the gospel according to Matthew. So it was in this gospel, they were presented as two mad persons. Next question. Jackin and Boaz were two pillars located by the vestibule of Solomon's temple. Explain the meanings of the names Jackin and Boaz. Okay, time's up. Jackin or Jachin is God will establish or he will establish. And Boaz means in him is strength. In God is strength. Next question. Pick the old one out and explain fully the reason for your answer. Gaza, Ashdod, Ekron, Eglon, Ashkelon. Deeper life, UG. The answer is Ashkelon. The rest are the, are the laws of the Philistines. That's incorrect. <laughs> Deeper life, KNUST. It's Eglon. The others are um, the cities in the camp of the Philistines, but only Eglon is out of them. Okay. Apart from David and Solomon, mention any five authors who contributed to the writings in the Psalms. Deeper life can you rest? We have Beth, we have the sons, we have a cool. We You've have been Beth. bailed out, I'm sorry. Okay, so apart from David and Solomon, there are five authors. Other authors are Asaph, the sons of Korah, Herman, Moses, Ethan, the Ezraites. Next question. Mention any four signs Jesus listed concerning the season known as the beginning of sorrows. Deeper life can you rest? The first one is there will be famines. And then another, there will be pestilences or pandemics in diverse places. And then the third, there will be wars and um, rumors of wars. And then the fourth, there will be a rise in false prophets and prophecies. Incorrect. Sorry. Life city. Many will come in his name, saying they are him, and deceive many. There will be, there will be famines and troubles. There will be various earthquakes in various places. And there will be pestilence. I'm sorry, I will not accept it. The right answers. There will be wars and rumors of wars. Nation rising against nation, kingdom rising against kingdom, earthquakes, famines, and troubles. Next question. Trace the genealogy of Achan or Achan, A C H A N, to the family of the Zahites, Z A R H I T E S. So we have Achan, Kami, Zabdi, and Zahites. All right, the last question for this round. Complete the following statements with precision and accuracy. Deuteronomy 1, verse 1. New King James Version says, These are the words which Moses spoke to all Israel. Okay, we've been bailed out. Audience. <laughs> Brings us to the end of round two. 
The National Bible Quiz and Sweet Music in partnership with Sunny TV, Sunny FM and Bible Society of Ghana present the 2023 National Bible Quiz Championship. Come watch 27 churches from three universities battle their way through the quarterfinals, semifinals and grand finale for the ultimate biblical scholarship and trophy. Who wins the 2023 National Bible Quiz Championship? Date Monday 4th to Saturday 9th September 2023. Venue Cofidra Conference Room. In University of Ghana. Come cheer your church to victory. Welcome to Sweet Music, your home of original musical instruments at the most affordable prices. Drum sets, keyboards, pianos, bass and guitar. The National Bible Quiz and Sweet Music in partnership with Sunny TV, Sunny FM and Bible Society of Ghana present the 2023 National Bible Quiz Championship. Come watch 27 churches from three universities battle their way through the quarterfinals, semifinals and grand finale for the ultimate biblical scholarship and trophy. Who wins the 2023 National Bible Quiz Championship? Date Monday 4th to Saturday 9th September 2023. Venue Cofidra Conference Room. University University of Ghana. Come cheer your church to victory. Welcome back. So at the end of round two, here are the results. Deeper Life Campus Fellowship, KNUST, accumulated 20 points. Life City Campus Church had 22 points. And Deeper Life Campus Fellowship, UG, had 26 points. Now, to round three, test of the day. In this round, all teams are presented with the same test, and you have four minutes to present your victorious answers on the whiteboards provided. 10 points are at stake. Best wishes to all teams. Please turn over your sheets as we read the test together. Test for today, the figure below is popularly known as the great image, states the most accurate labels for each numbered part and answer the question below the image. Show them something, answer very Then state any two of the three major things that happened in the dream after the dreamer saw this image. You have four minutes to start this on the whiteboards provided. Start. The National Bible Quiz and Sweet Music in partnership with Sunny TV, Sunny FM and Bible Society of Ghana present the 2023 National Bible Quiz Championship. Come watch 27 churches from three universities battle their way through the quarterfinals, semifinals and grand finale for the ultimate biblical scholarship and trophy. Who wins the 2023 National Bible Quiz Championship? Date Monday 4th to Saturday 9th September 2023. Venue Cofidra Conference Room. University University of Ghana. Come cheer your church to victory. Welcome back. We have the solution to the test of the day. Contestants have presented their solutions, but before we go through what they've presented, let's see what was expected of them in today's test. The great image was seen by Nebuchadnezzar in a dream recorded in the book of Daniel, which dream was interpreted by Daniel in Daniel chapter 2. These were the expected answers. One, head of gold for one point. Two, chest and arms of silver for two points. Three, belly and thighs of silver also for two points. Four, legs of iron, one point. 
five feet of iron and clay, two points. Six, the question was, state any two of the three major things that happened in the dream after the dreamer saw this image. A, a stone cut without hands struck the image on its feet of iron and clay and broke them in pieces. And then the B, the iron, the clay, the bronze, the silver, and the gold were crushed together like chaff from the summer threshing floor. And that was the expectation for this round. Live City Campus Church had one point. <laughs> Deeper Live Campus Fellowship UG had seven points. And Deeper Live KNUSC had ten points. Well done. And so at the end of round three, here are the results. Life City has 23 points. <laughs> Deeper Life Campus Fellowship, KNUSC, has 30 points. <laughs> and Deeper Life UG has 33 points. Life City has made a substitution, and I'd like him to introduce himself to us. My name is Prince, Prince Asabri. <laughs> round four, true or false? In this round, I will be making statements to each team, and you are to tell whether the statement is true or false. A correct answer is worth two points. An incorrect answer will result in a deduction of one point. A team can decide not to answer their question, at which point it may be passed on to the next team, which rings their bell first. Same rules on points and deductions apply to a passed on question. Best wishes to all teams. We are starting from you, Deeper Life UG. In the Battle of Four Kings, verses five, which happened in the days of Lot, the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah were part of the five kings. True or false? True. That's correct. <laughs> Life City Campus Church. On the journey to offer Isaac as a sacrifice, Abraham left his home with only Isaac and the firewood. True or false? False. That's correct for two points. <laughs> Deeper Life KNUSD, on the altar of sacrifice, Isaac was bound and put on the altar, and afterwards, the firewood was laid on him. True or false? False. Correct for two points. <laughs> Deeper Life UG, all the animals that were permitted to be offered as burnt offerings were also permitted to be offered as peace offerings. True or false? False. Correct for two points. Life City. The bull was permitted to be offered as a burnt offering, but not permitted to be offered as a peace offering. True or false? True. That's incorrect. <laughs> Deeper Life KNUST. Birds were permitted to be offered as burnt offering, but not as peace offering. True or false? True. Correct for two points. <laughs> Deeper Life UG. The parable of the sower, the parable of the wheat and tares, the parable of the mustard seed, the parable of the living can all be found in the same chapter in the book of Luke. True or false? False. Correct for two points. <laughs> Life City, your question. The parable of the sower, the parable of the wheat and tares, the parable of the mustard seed, the parable of the living can all be found in the same chapter in the book of Mark. True or false? False. Correct for two points. <laughs> Deeper Life, KNUSC. The parable of the sower, the parable of the wheat and tares, the parable of the mustard seed, the parable of the living, can all be found in the same chapter in the book of John, true or false? False. That's correct for <laughs> Cindy K 
indicate whether the following statements are true or false concerning happenings in Acts chapter 13. Deeper Life UG. The chapter begins with a story of a prayer and worship meeting at the church of Ephesus, which hosted Paul, Barnabas, and Simeon. True or false? False. Correct for two points. Life City, Campus Church, your question. A number of persons were named in the first verse of Acts chapter 13, and they were described as evangelists and prophets. True or false? False. Correct for two points. <laughs> Deeper Life, KNUST. As the prayer and worship went on, the Holy Ghost said, Separate unto me, Simeon and Saul, for the work which I have called them to do. True or false? False. Correct for two points. <laughs> Deeper life, UG, your question. In the crossing of the Jordan, the priest first passed through the river to the other end, and the people followed in their tracks. True or false? False. Correct for two points. Live City, your question. In the crossing of the Jordan, the 12 men took their stones when they first got to the midst of the river and continued with their stones to the other end of the river. True or false? False. Correct for two points. Deeper Life KNUST. In the crossing of the Jordan, the priests were the last group to cross over. True or false? True. Correct for two points. <laughs> Deeper Life UG, your question. Three different persons are called Mephibosheth in the Bible, and they all had some form of natural relationship with King Saul. True or false? False. Correct for two points. Life City, your question. Two different persons are called Mephibosheth in the Bible, and they both had some form of natural relationship with King Saul. True or false? True. Correct for two points. <laughs> Deeper Life KNUSC. The two persons called Mephibosheth in the Bible were both children of Saul. True or false? It's false. Correct for two points. <laughs> Preamble. Indicates whether the following statements are true or false concerning the pouring of the contents of bowls by angels as recorded in Revelation chapter 16. Deeper Life UG. The pouring of the first bowl brought up some source upon those who had the mark of the beast. True or false? True. Correct for two points. <laughs> Life City. The pouring of the third bowl caused the sea to turn into blood. True or false? True. That's incorrect. <laughs> Deeper Life KNUST. The pouring of the fifth bowl caused the appearance of darkness and the experience of pain. True or false? True. Correct for two points. <laughs> Last set for this round. Deeper Life UG, the scripture, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, you who dwell in the land of Uz. The cup shall also pass over to you, and you shall become drunk and make yourself naked, can be found in Lamentations chapter 5. True or false? False. Correct for two points. <laughs> Life City, your question. The book of Lamenta Lamentations has only five chapters. True or false? False. That's incorrect. <laughs> Deeper Life KNUST. The scripture, I called for my lovers, but they deceived me. My priests and my elders breathed their last in the city while they sought for food to restore their life, can be found in Lamentations chapter 1. True or false? It's false. That's incorrect. Oh. And that brings us to the end of round four. Oh. 
The National Bible Quiz and Sweet Music in partnership with Sunny TV, Sunny FM and Bible Society of Ghana present the 2023 National Bible Quiz Championship. Come watch 27 churches from three universities battle their way through the quarterfinals, semifinals and grand finale for the ultimate biblical scholarship and trophy. Who wins the 2023 National Bible Quiz Championship? Date Monday 4th to Saturday 9th September 2023. Venue Cofidra Conference Room. University of Ghana, come cheer your church to victory. Welcome back. So at the end of round four, here are the results. Life City Campus Church had 30 points. <laughs> Deeper Life KNUSC had 43 points. And Deeper Life Campus Fellowship UG had 49 points. <laughs> Now to round five, riddles. In this round, there are four riddles. A set of clues will be read out to all teams on each riddle. And you have to draw my attention on your readiness to answer by ringing your bell. Shall we hear your bells, please? Deeper life, Yuji. Thank you. Life City. Thank you. Deeper life, KNUSD. Okay. The first to answer rightly wins the points for that riddle. A riddle solved on the first clue is worth five points. And on the second clue is four points. A riddle solved on the third or any other number of clues will be worth three points. If a team wrongly answers a riddle, you'll be out of that particular riddle until the next. Best wishes to all teams. First riddle, I am a significant ancient location north of Samaria in the hills of Gilboa. I am known as the place of two wells, which, which wells exist up to this day. I was a commercial route or route for many kinds of traders and a regular destination for shepherds because of my excellent pasture and rich fountains. In the book of Genesis, I am identified as the last possible location of a certain paycheck before he was sold into slavery. In 2 Kings, I am identified as the place Elisha dwelt. It was also in this same location that the Lord opened the eyes of Elisha's servant to see the horses of chariots and fire surrounding them. Who am I? Deeper life, can you see? Dothan. Dothan is a. On the last clue, so you have three points. Next riddle. I am a natural unit for qualitative measurements, which can also represent an actual quantity in some cases. I am mentioned 10 times or more in almost all Bible versions in English. My name can also refer to a person or group that is difficult to control. I was used in appraising how well the, the first seven years of Joseph's reign in Egypt yielded fruit. In Exodus, I was used in measuring the quantity of ashes to be sprinkled toward heaven to cause the balls. Yes, life city. A handful. A handful is the right answer. <laughs> I was on the fifth clue, and so you have three points. Third riddle, I am a lamentation. Most versions of the English Bible translations call me a song. I was written by David before he was anointed king over Judah. David also commanded that I be taught to the children of... Yes, deeper life, can you see? Okay, so it is Jonathan, the lamentation after the death of Jonathan and Saul. Incorrect. Oh. 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 
David, I'm continuing. David also commanded that I be taught to the children of Judah. I was composed almost immediately after the death of Saul and Jonathan. Who am I? Okay, time up. Audience. Okay, it's the lament of the bow, or the lamentation of the bow, or the song of the bow. Okay. Last riddle. I am one of the parables of Jesus. I am found together with a group of parables which Jesus said by the seaside in the book of Matthew. I am the last on the list after which Jesus changed locations. I have something to do with the kingdom of heaven and treasures. I am a great admonishment for everyone who wants to be a great teacher, able to bring forth the new and the old. Who am I? Deeper Life, can you It's the, It's the parable of the treasure hid in a field. That's incorrect. The right answer is the parable of the householder or the parable of the scribe. And that brings us to the end of the content. The National Bible Quiz and Sweet Music in partnership with Sunny TV, Sunny FM and Bible Society of Ghana present the 2023 National Bible Quiz Championship. Come watch 27 churches from three universities battle their way through the quarterfinals, semifinals and grand finale for the ultimate biblical scholarship and trophy. Who wins the 2023 National Bible Quiz Championship? Date Monday 4th to Saturday 9th September 2023. Venue Cofidral Conference Room. University University of Ghana. Come cheer your church to victory. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Before I declare the results for round five, I'd like to make a correction. Okay. And so in the third riddle, the answer Deeper Life KNUSC gave was a description which explained the answer and I've been advised to give them their point. <laughs> So at the end of round five, here are the results. Live City had 33 points. Deeper Life, Deeper Life Campus Fellowship KNUSD had 49 points. And Deeper Life Campus Fellowship UG also had 49 points. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a tie. And so to break the tie, okay, I'm giving one question. In the form of a speed race, the rules for speed race apply. The first to answer correctly gets the points. Okay. So the question I read, why did Moses call one of his sons Geshom? He has deeper life, UG. He called him Geshom because God has... God of his fathers has been with him in a strange land. Incorrect. Yes, he felt like he was. He called him Yeshua because he said, I've been an alien in a strange land. That is about the Bible.
own and also had some fun. The program was brought to you by the National Bible Quiz Project in partnership with the Bible Society of Ghana and Sunny TV. It was proudly sponsored by Sweet Music Pro Audio, Ghana's leading musical instrument store, Visawi Insurance Brokers, and the 75th Anniversary Secretariat of the University of Ghana. Join us again next time when we bring you the second semi-final contest of the season. My name is Janet Stansoir, your face mistress.